Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an exciting tutorial in store for you. We will be guiding you through the process of building a simple yet elegant landing page using just HTML and CSS. Whether you are new to web development or looking to refresh your skills, this tutorial is perfect for you. So let's dive right in. Before we begin, Let's take a quick look at what we are going to build. Our landing page will feature a beautiful gradient background, a navigation bar with links, and a captivating hero section. The best part? You won't need any fancy tools or frameworks, just plain HTML and CSS. By the end of this tutorial, you would have learned to build a fully functional landing page structure HTML content effectively, style your page using CSS, utilize Flexbox for layout design, and more. All right, let's get started by setting up our project. Open your favorite code editor. I'm using Visual Studio Code. Create two new files, index.html for our HTML code and style.css for our CSS styles. Now, Let's start with the HTML structure. Add a title to your landing page like Lil Drops landing page and link the external CSS file for styling. Let's also add some default customization to level the playing field. We will remove default margins, patterns, text decorations, and list styles for all elements. Now, we will begin building the layout from top to bottom. Let's focus on creating the navigation menu using Flexbox. Within a div with the class navbar, place two divs, one for the logo and the other for the navigation links. Use an unordered list for the menu items, for example, home, about, projects, contact and add an anchor tag with the class button for the sign-in link. To see the changes live as you code, use a live server extension in Visual Studio Code or any preferred code editor. Great! Now that we have the structure, let's make our landing page visually appealing by adding some CSS styles. To start, we will apply a background gradient to the body element using the linear gradient property, creating a beautiful transition from light teal to white from left to right. Next, we will style the navigation bar. We will increase the font size of the logo, apply a bold font width, Then using Flexbox, we will align the logo and the navigation links in the center of the navbar with some padding to space them nicely. Moving on to the navigation links, we will set them to display horizontally with space between each item. We'll also style the anchor elements with a size of 1.2 rem and a black color. For the sign in button, we'll give it a light teal background color. Add some padding. Enforce the text color to be white. Set a border radius to make it rounded. 
Feel free to experiment with different colors and styles to customize your landing page. Now, let's move on to creating the hero section. In the hero section, we will have two columns, a left side and a right side. In the left side, we will add a headline, subtext, and a paragraph with some placeholder content. We'll also include two call to action links. On the right side, we'll have a top row containing an image and social media icons, and a bottom row with a call to action and an image. Don't worry about the placeholder content. You can replace it with your desired text and images later. Let's start styling the hero section. We will use Flexbox to align and space the two columns properly. For the left side, we will set the width and padding. Adjust the font size of the headline. and create a horizontal line using an empty span element. Next, we will style the paragraph text, add some spacing, and design the donate and read more links.
for the right side, we will apply similar width and pattern settings. We will use Flexbox to arrange the image and social icons in a row, centering them both vertically and horizontally. Lastly, we will style the call to action content, add a horizontal line, and set the size of the icon. And there you have it, a beautifully designed and fully functional landing page using only HTML and CSS. You have learned some essential HTML and CSS concepts along the way, and now you are well on your way to creating your own fantastic web projects. Thank you so much for joining me in this tutorial. If you found it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting web development content. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to leave a comment and I'll be happy to help. Until next time, happy coding!